Hey, this is Aaron Martinez and I just wanted to record this video for you to show you how you can get your GetResponse account integrated with InstaBuilder. Now, as you may know, uh, GetResponse is an autoresponder and InstaBuilder is a plugin um, that actually comes with this blogging platform that I use called Kalatu Premium. Um, when I go to plugins here, I can show you what that is real quick. Um, InstaBuilder, okay? So I'm going to click on InstaBuilder and just kind of give you a little rundown of what exactly it is and what you can do with it. But I'm not going to really focus on all the features of it right now because uh, the main thing that I've been asked many times is, Aaron, how do you get your GetResponse account integrated with InstaBuilder so that you can get a capture page to work. And as you can see here, um, I've had some experience at that and I've gotten, you know, between 50 and 100 visitors almost daily for, well, at least the past couple weeks or so. Um, and that's because I use uh, this technique that I'm about to show you. And uh, there really isn't a whole lot to it, but when you're brand new or uh, maybe, um, there's some changes that are made to a software or platform it can get a little bit overwhelming and then you just get to the point where you get so frustrated you don't take any action and so that's something that we just want to um, we want to pin that down so that you can not feel so overwhelmed take the action you need and get your great content out there for other people to see that uh, you know are going to get value from it so with that being said I am just going to create a brand new page here and I'm going to keep this pretty simple like you can get as creative as you want with it but I'm going to keep it simple that way you're able to follow and let's see here choose template so I'm going to go to squeeze page and I'm going to choose something that is um, pretty simple here Let's see. Um, let's go with this one. So I'm going to choose this one. These templates are, are great to start with, by the way, and you can always clone them and make your own template, which is really cool. But for now, um, we're going to focus on this part here. Right now it's got first name and email address and a subscribe now button. So I'm going to teach you how to link this to your autoresponder. And the best way to do that is um, we're going to we're going to um, go to our get response because that's the autoresponder that I currently use. And I'm just going to start um, I'm going to create a brand new campaign is what I'm going to do first because I want to show you that this is easy. So we're going to go, we're going to put a campaign name. Now you just need to try out different names. I mean, nobody's ever going to see this unless you use the, the email function where you, you email the campaign name at getresponse.net to have people join your list that way without having to enter a name and email. That is a topic for another uh, video. I'm not going to really get into that right now. But what you just need to, to do at this point is create a campaign name. So let's, t let's call this test opt-in one or something, okay? Create campaign. We're gonna go to edit campaign settings. I'm not really gonna get into the reasons why I do this, but I'm going to go to permission and uncheck these three options here. That way you don't have to send an email to somebody or let's say somebody enters their name and email on your opt-in page, your capture page, your squeeze page, whatever you want to call it. It's the same thing. Let's say somebody enters their information and clicks the button. Well then like they don't get your email right away because GetResponse will send them an email saying, hey, you sent, an, you sent your information to this, 
we need you to confirm this before you actually get whatever the sender, which would be myself or yourself, is sending to the person. This allows you to eliminate that step. It allows you to take a step out of it. That way, when somebody opts into your capture page, your initial autoresponder email will go out. So you want to change this to whatever email you want it to go out from, right? And uh, yeah, it's pretty much done. Like, I'm not going to get into anything here. There's a whole lot of videos that explain what all this stuff is. And if you want to customize it and change it, that's cool, but it's not necessary. So your current campaign should be set to whatever your campaign is. Now we're going to go to forms. So we're going to go to create form. And this is something that's changed in recent months. It didn't used to look like this. There used to be like a, it used to be an older uh, template, an older um, layout where you could create forms. And uh, most of you might know this old way of doing it and notice it disappeared. That's because GetResponse has adopted this new way to create forms. And it's actually a lot easier than you might think. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to plain HTML editor. So it's going to bring up this code right here. Now, as it stands, the only thing that's going to be, if I were to copy and paste this code into my autoresponder or into my, um, my template that I'm making for the capture page in my InstaBuilder or whatever platform you're using, you could be using a lot of different uh, ways to create a, um, a capture page. But for this example, I'm using InstaBuilder and there's a placeholder to put some code in there, right? So right now we're seeing a preview like, okay, it's email. All it's asking for is email right now. What we want to do is we want to modify these settings here on the right hand side to get it to talk to the campaign we just created. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to find test opt-in one. That's the campaign I want this capture page attached to. I'm going to say add to cycle on day zero. Why is this important? This is important because when somebody clicks that button after they enter their name and email, they're going to get added to this campaign in your get response to this list, if you will, on day zero immediately. And at that point, if you have an autoresponder email for your day zero set to go out as soon as somebody subscribes, then that is what uh, is going to go out to them is that email. So. We're going to leave all this alone. We're going to add this day zero. We're going to go custom thank you page here. And for, for all intents and purposes of this, I'm just going to put, um, and you got to put an HTTP. We're just going to send them to Google. Now what you'll want to do if you're creating a thank you page is you'll want to create your own thank you page in InstaBuilder get the URL to that. The URL is this thing up here. You'll get the URL to that and you'll put that in here instead. But <clears throat> I'm not going to go through that right now because it's going to it's going to kind of derail us from the topic at hand. So just remember if you want to be redirected, if you want your subscriber to be redirected after you send them to um, after they opt into your capture page, you want to send them to a sales video or if you want to send them to a thank you page I would recommend a thank you page where you're on video explaining to them what they need to do next and introducing yourself because that helps them to get to know you better and uh, helps them to realize that you're a real person you're not just somebody out there that's collecting information for the heck of it you're you're actually out there and you're introducing yourself in front of anything that you have to offer. So this is a good place to invite people to um, interact with you on social media. You can put, you can put your um, Facebook or your Twitter, any social media buttons with links to them on this thank you page. Um, those are just some tips for you and I can probably go through that in another video at some other time. But just make sure you're sending them somewhere as soon as they click that button. And preferably someplace where you're instructing them to go and check their email 
and letting them know that, hey, your this email should be up on its way to your inbox. Check your spam folder too, and then whitelist the email. This is what you want to tell them. That way they continue to get emails from you and know to be on the lookout for it. And the way you do that is on your capture page, you, you let them know that uh, when they enter their information, they're going to receive a free gift from you, which is called a lead magnet. And that's going to be sent to their email inbox. So that entices them to not give you bogus fake information and uh, it allows them to to want to trust you because they know they're going to get something out of it. So um, that is another topic on its own as well. So right now the purpose of this is just to teach you how to link this code to your InstaBuilder capture page. Or if you're using lead pages or click funnels or any other means of creating a capture page, there's usually a placeholder for this code. And so we're going to leave all this the same. Right now, all that's in here is email. Um, let's say we just want their first name and email, right? Once I checked that box, it added some more code in here. So now first name and email is going to match what we have on here. First name and email. That's what we want. So we're good there. So we don't need to add any of this other stuff. Um, that's something you can... You can learn on your own by going to the get response tutorials if you want to add placeholders for this stuff. I don't see a need to overcomplicate it, so therefore I'm not going to. What you're going to want to do now is, now that this code is generated, you've got your campaign that you want them added to. You want to add them immediately, so you say day zero. You want them to end up on whatever website you want, like a thank you page. Right now I just put in Google for an example. As soon as they click your button here, when they click the subscribe now button or whatever you call your button, it's gonna take them to this page. And preferably it's another static page of yours that has a thank you video where you explain to them, hey, go check your email right now and make sure you check your spam folder or any other folder because you're gonna be receiving an email from me and that's what contains the gift that I promised you. So you're gonna to wanna to do that. Next, you're gonna just want to click on copy code. It says copied down here. It's copied to your clipboard. Now what you want to do is come back here and we're going to click on this. It's going to bring up this little gear right here and that's for the settings. If this doesn't show up for some reason in your InstaBuilder, all you have to do is hold down your command key and the minus sign and it'll it'll eventually show up. Sometimes it's a little bit weird and it doesn't show up for some reason. This time luckily it did. That's just some sort of a little bug that uh, is built into InstaBuilder for some reason or it it may not be a problem to you. It's been it's been somewhat of a, a thing that comes up every now and then for me. So just giving you a heads up. I believe if you do command and plus or command minus it zooms in or zooms out. I think the control key, if you're using Windows, does the same thing. So just keep that in mind. Um, you're going to eventually get to this screen here, opt-in form HTML code. Okay, that code we just copied from over here, this is HTML code. We copied it. It's in our clipboard right now. So what we want to do is just paste that in there and then say process. Opt-in code has been processed. Hide this panel. <clears throat> um, we can change our permalink here and we'll edit that and we'll just call this um, test opt-in page. And then we'll close that. I'm not going to get into how to edit this part. What you want to do is just find the, the URL of the video. You don't need the embed code for this, just the URL for your video and put it here. And then you can change these options as you see fit. Um, and then basically like all you have to do is, you know, if you see some stuff in here you don't want, that's cool, just delete it out. Like I don't really need that there. 
I don't need any of this, so I'll delete that out too. I'll delete that out. There's so many things that you don't really need in here. Um, your logo, I don't really need that right now. You can just play with this stuff, okay? Like there's there's tutorials in the uh, Kalatu Premium uh, blog platform that you can watch to learn the basics of how to do all this stuff. But I'm just showing you this part for now. Um, if there's enough of a demand for it, I'll do future videos about how to edit this stuff, but for now, um, I want to just make sure that I can get you guys connected uh, between your autoresponder and your uh, your capture page here. So let's pretend we've got all of this stuff ready. We've got this filled out. We're going to save it because. I've noticed if you don't save your work often enough, sometimes you lose it, sometimes your internet goes down, a multitude of things can happen. So you wanna make sure that you save frequently and then click on publish. And while we're waiting for that, um, you see what these tabs are called up here? If when somebody clicks on your your capture page link, if you don't want it to say you know whatever the default is, you're gonna go to page settings here, and this is just you know just uh, supplemental uh, bonus material for this. So I just want to let you know. Right now it's gonna say exclusive squeeze orange, and we don't want it to say that. We want it to say whatever like um, claim your gift or something, right? Whatever you want it to say. So we'll save that again since we did an update. And um, while it's doing that, hopefully it won't take too long here, uh, we can actually preview the page. So see that up here? It says claim your gift. That's what we wanted, okay? There was a default YouTube video in there already, like just as a, a default link. So whatever your link was, you put that in. And now what you're going to do is you're going to opt into this. And I'll just put my name and uh, put that in there. I'm going to say subscribe now. It's going to take me to Google next because that's the web address that we put in there for our thank you. So if everything works the way it should, the next place it takes us should be Google. And for some reason, I'm not sure why it didn't do it. Let me try this again. Um, Uh, inspireforlife.info which is the the uh, domain that I own and uh, we called it test opt-in page so maybe if we do it this way I'll enter this again you know what it is I love about being spider-man Here's another little trick here, and I'm just going to show you this as a bonus. If you've already opted into your own capture page and you want to opt in again with the same email, but call it something a little bit different, it'll still work with the same email. That way you don't have to create a lot of emails to just be opting into your capture pages all the time. Take, take your email and then whatever goes right before the at sign, put a plus and then call it whatever you want. You could call it plus one two three or anything and when you do that and you subscribe hopefully okay this redirected to Google I think it was because we were on the preview instead of the actual page so that's a, a good thing to know here so um, yeah and it looks like it put some sort of redirect code 
here. So that, that's cool. This will actually redirect to whatever page you enter in on the settings and get response. So I'm not going to go and check my email right now. What I can do though is just go to my, um, I'll go to my contacts here and see if I got added to my own list. So I'm going to do advanced search. I'm going to look at, I'm going to close all those and I'm going to go to test opt in one and show contacts. It's got two because I opted in once with my email, once with this. And so if I had had an autoresponder email or message in here, it would have sent out that first message. And the way to create the autoresponder, I'm just going to show you real quick, is test opt-in one. We want it to go immediately on day zero. And we would just create new email. And we would say um, your, we could say your free gift awaits. Then we pick the email we want it to come from. We come here. I have a template already saved. And so, yeah, this is, I mean, this is just a sample. Usually I change out this stuff, but um, I use this template a lot just to, as placeholders for stuff. And then I'll just go next step. And this is just an example. So um, basically now when I say save and publish, when somebody opts into this capture page that I just created, they're going to get this email immediately. And then you'd want to set up emails for whatever other days, you know, uh, that follow that. And so when you're on this page, you know, you exit your editor. This is saved now. It's, it's cool. When I come down to my, my page here, claim your gift is what it's calling it up in the tab. And then here's, here's the, uh, test opt opt-in page we just created but you know when you have your own domain if you've already mapped it in Kalatu, like mine is inspire for like the number for life dot info inspire for life dot info forward slash test opt-in page or whatever you want to call it and then like if you create one you can create several and if you want to use the same theme or whatever it's cool like it's really easy you just duplicate it creates another one then you come into the edit button and you change out the things you need to change out and you're good to go and so here um, if I want to change the permalink the permalink is what's after the slash here I could do that here if I want to look at statistics of this it'll tell me how many people have clicked on it and so far one visitor because I've only typed it in here once so um, you can definitely do variations on this you can do so much more and there's more tutorials on how to use these tools in the um, tutorials section instabuilder tutorials and I'll just go to that real quick to show you the type of training that's in here and uh, you know there's an overview you can learn how to do use the editor password protecting the pages you know all kinds of different things and I mean, it's just, this platform is amazing um, because it includes so much and it's, it's definitely there for the beginner. And so if you are wanting to start a blog or be able to just have something, a, a tool to create some really cool capture pages very easily, just like what I've shown you, go ahead and uh, visit the link um, in, this, in this post or below the video somewhere uh, to learn exactly how you can get started on this platform because it is it's been so valuable to me and another cool thing is uh, when you get this platform you can actually create 10 different blogs I've only got two blogs on here right now 
but if I wanted to, I could create eight more blogs. Now, here's where it gets interesting. You may not find a need to have eight more blogs, right? You may not have a need to have 10 blogs. Maybe you just want one blog or two blogs. Here's what you can do though. You can offer to build other people's blogs using your spare blogs. Like if you wanna manage a blog for somebody or you want to just give somebody, um, maybe you know of a, a business out there, maybe you know of like a, a barbershop or a hair salon or a car dealership or you know whatever type of business, a bed and breakfast, whatever, and you want to uh, help them to market their business on the internet, you can offer to create a blog for them using your own blog subscription or better yet, you can offer this tool to them and get paid commissions on it, which is really, really cool. So I highly encourage you to check out the link below this video. And I hope that you got a lot out of this tutorial because I certainly had fun making it and uh, it's always nice to, to give back and to uh, to show you the things that, that I've been able to learn and figure out as I do them. So if there are other things that you want to see, um, go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, I always enjoy the feedback and uh, I want to do my best to provide value to you. Um, and I hope that this blog post and that this video has allowed me to give you some sort of value and put your mind at ease and uh, demystify the steps that it takes to link your get response autoresponder to basically any um, any capture page creator out there and the one I featured in this was of course instabuilder which is in the plugin section of my Kalatu blog and it's the Kalatu premium blog like there's there's a Kalatu basic and a Kalatu premium and I'll tell you what these plugins that come with premium are really really awesome and so uh, it's especially worth it for this here so um, with that being said thank you very much for watching this I appreciate your input your feedback and I hope you're able to just take what you've learned here from me today and just run with it and uh, yeah if you've got anything you've created if you have any other questions just let me know and I'm here to help you out with that so have a great day and we'll see you on the next video thanks a lot